helping boards identify who the right CEO is to lead an organisation into the future is an absolute privilege of our work. It's such a complex question because it's not about who has all the right skills and the right capabilities. It's really about who's the right person for the moment and being able to understand the individual, the context in which they have to operate and what the organisation needs and bring that all together um, is really complex, stretching and fascinating work. Um, and it's amazing when we see we help organisations make that kind of decision and have the impact they can have. I think what's been so exciting about this process is that everyone who's touched the process has got so energised by it. So for the emerging artists it's been a fantastic opportunity to show their talents. For the CEOs it's been a great opportunity to show their interest and belief in nurturing talent, even if it's outside of their own organisation. And for the YC team it's been wonderful to see how artists and we do actually very similar work, which is about always looking for that distinctive side of an individual and trying to bring that to life in different ways. But when we're engaging with leaders, we have our scientific training. Most of us are professional psychologists by background, but we're also very interested in the dynamics in the room. We're very interested in the impressions that we create um, in the eyes of our clients. We will share our own perceptions with our clients in a very human way. We put a lot of focus into developing very warm, close relationships with our clients because we understand that having those relationships, we're able to challenge them, they're able to be much more receptive to our interventions, and in that way we bring about change. So it's this combination of the sort of the science of what we do with the, with the art of what we do that really sums up the philosophy uh, of how we work and actually makes us very different to the other leadership providers in our space. I think it gives us much more breadth and subtlety to how we work. So the whole project has made me think about art, creativity, um, and the similarities actually between what we do and what artists do, because in our work, we have to stimulate leaders to think differently about themselves. That's key, key to what we do. This exercise, I've no doubt, as some of the CEOs who have been painted look at their own portraits, they're going to look at themselves and think, wow, is that how I really come across? So they too, these artists, are helping leaders think differently about themselves. So to that extent, we have something in common. And again, it's this idea of you know, the, the work that we do, having the, having the science and, and the art to it. So I found all that really interesting. I actually had the joyful experience of seeing it unveiled in front of me by the artist. And it was an unusual experience because you don't often get to hear the backstory at the same time as seeing the finished product. The essence of a great artist is not just getting to know someone, but actually taking advantage of happy circumstances and a bit of luck, um, which is a bit like being a CEO. Uh, there's a bit of luck involved, and um, I think Franny actually managed to capture that very nicely. And as I say, it was fun and unusual hearing someone saying, this is why I did what I did, at the same time as seeing the finished product. For an artist, it's very hard to promote your work, so actually to be given the platform to be able to paint somebody who's accepted as a very important person is a, is a real honour. So 25 years of a leadership consultancy that's independent, like ours, is a pretty big deal. And we wanted to do just something that thanked our clients, celebrated with our clients, and recognised the creativity and the art that's always been a part of YC's culture.